Hey, welcome back, old chums. Today, we're taking a dive into the Batcave to take a look at the latest issue of Batman. That's uh, issue number 81, for those of you keeping track. City of Bane, Part 7, written by Tom King, with art by John Romita Jr. Wow, that's two John Romita Jr. comics with Batman, reviewed in the same week on that on this channel. That guy is working so hard. Either he is like has the world's greatest work ethic, or maybe he's really crapping the workout lately. JR, JR, I kid. I kid because I love. John Romita Jr. is a solid veteran of the industry. I mean, he's the he's the son of a legend. So, and when you look at John Romita Sr., and the beauty of his artwork back on Amazing Spider-Man, taking over after Steve Ditko left. I mean, the guy is like unparalleled, just a beautiful um, uh, f technician of, of comics. And John Romita Jr. absorbed tons of lessons from that. He's great at showing action and storytelling. That, that beautiful rendered uh, shape, not as much. Um, so today, what are we going to talk about? City of Bane, part 7, I think, of how many? I'm not sure. I know 85 is Tom King's last issue of Batman. Maybe that's the last issue of City of Bane. Maybe it wraps up before then. To be honest, the fact that I don't even know, and the fact that I've been skipped some of the issues since the last one I reviewed, and nobody really cared that much, tells me that not too many people were on board with Batman. <clears throat> I was starting to give up hope. Uh, this is, issue has a bit of a turnaround, and, and I definitely like it better than I've liked the last several issues. Um, so wait a minute, wait, let's just, why? Looking here, when we can be looking there, inside the Million Dollar Comics Cam. Okay, Batman, 81. Showdown. So where have we, what, 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 what's happened to this point? Well, man, what hasn't happened? Bane has taken over the city of Gotham. Uh, install, uh, freed all the criminals from Arkham Asylum and made them his own police force and city services. Uh, he's he's uh, vowed that uh, nobody should enter the city, no superhero should enter the city upon penalty of uh, death of Alfred, which happened in a previous issue. Damian Wayne came in headstrong. Uh, Batman, confronted the by the by the rest of the Batman family, kind of went nuts and hit punched Tim Drake and took off and <clears throat> has been in this sort of malaise in Hawaii like vacationing with Catwoman in a Magnum PI mustache what the heck is going on well it all gets revealed in this issue eh, and it's not a bad reveal okay so let's look at the art it, 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 there's been a lot of different artists even on this story arc so there's not a ton of cohesion John Romita Jr. solid. Let's take a nice look at a nice double page spread of the of the, the the extended Bat family, right? This is everybody but Batman. This is uh, if you don't know, this is the Daddy Bats. This is Thomas Wayne, the father of Bruce Wayne in an alternate dimension where Bruce Wayne, the child, was killed and the father became Batman, and he's this more ruthless. Batman who'll do anything. He uses guns. He will kill people. He's like Batman without the moral compunction or code. Uh, and so anyway, he's been um, the replacement Batman for Bane as Bane has taken over Gotham, right? So ba they have their own red bat signal and they bring in the evil Batman, Thomas Wayne. And his sidekick is Gotham Girl, this super powered uh, uh, character who's a sidekick to another character who has these crazy, incredible superpowers, but they're burning them out and it's going to kill them eventually. Pretty soon. Okay, so what do we get here? We get uh, Batman back in the fray, um, delivering basically um, some narration, some uh, 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 expositional narration during a fight scene. Basically, spilling the beans that, look, I would never hit a, my kid. I didn't really punch Tim Drake. I did, but get this, folks. It, there, it was a coded punch, right? I've trained with the Bat family so much that we can communicate with each other through punches. I'm not joking. 
not s- subtle body language, but like I got to punch you in the face to let you know that we're being watched and to go dark on all our usual communication channels because, um, you know, it's an emergency. I guess I'll buy it as like a code. And uh, I think there's other ways to do it, but what are you going to do? So anyway, that explains why Batman would punch Robin. He would never do that because Batman's too good of a guy, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, so now it's up to him to fight his way into the, the city. Meanwhile, the, the rest of the Bat family um, is confronting Thomas Wayne, who is just about to come and kill Damien uh, Wayne after having supposedly murdered Alfred right in front of Damien. So now the whole family is like, no way, dude. You're 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 done. We don't even need Batman. We're gonna whoop your ass, um, Bat Family style. Meanwhile, the the the, the Catwoman Batman exposition fest continues, and uh, we learn that their trip to Hawaii was actually them. Bruce had. Uh, the, the way Gotham Girl got her powers is through this special serum and Bruce had the only remaining portion of it and had it hidden away and New Bane would go after it. They're, they're playing three-dimensional chess with each other. Okay, whatever. It's convoluted. Um, but it makes sense in a kind of Batman kind of way, I guess. So meanwhile, we got, okay, the Batman has been basically beat down um, and, and, and they're like, okay, we're going to kill him now. And he's like, no, that's not the Batman way. We got to offer him mercy. And then Damien's like, yeah. And then when he says no, then we then we cripple him. Whatever. They're trying to be badass. And uh, this is when Thomas Wayne gets up. This is when he gets up. And he goes like, what is wrong with my boy? What is, he trained you weaklings to be as soppy and weak as him. So Huntress is like, enough of this. And shoots an arrow at him. And, he catches the arrow, which is pretty badass, and like immediately stabs what Tim Drake with it. And and now we cut off screen and we get to a scene with the Joker character who's actually not the Joker, but the whole time has secretly been Clayface working undercover for Batman because Clayface can't be affected by the psycho pirate's mask, which is what Bane has been using to control everybody. Uh okay. And so after that cutaway, we get to this like fighting. Oh, they're yelling. Oh, no. What? Blah, 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 blah. blah. Something's happening. Back to Batman and Catwoman and more exposition. Uh, so, some stuff, some, some stuff in here that's like makes me, leads me to believe that maybe Alfred is not dead. It's really possible they've left an out here. There's a couple of different outs between Clayface and some of the stuff you hear I don't want to spoil it all but meanwhile Batman comes smashing out of the clock you know the secret entrance to the Batcave is behind the grandfather clock uh, and uh, he demands tea from his butler who is I think like who is he the ventriloquist or something whatever and so apparently he beat and killed the entire bat family i'm i'm guessing not um but that's the end and and you know waiting for batman and we're gonna get our presumably a showdown between batman versus batman who is the real batman gee i wonder who's gonna win that one um well we'll find out um then we've got a couple backup pages by mitch gerads where uh they're hinting at something that's coming we got harvey bullock painted naked getting drunk he sees some vision of what is this symbol like legion of doom symbol or something he's singing a song like chicago but substituting lyrics for gotham city which is kind of funny but i don't know what they're hinting at i don't know what they're getting at to be honest i'm not super sure where we're at on the whole tom king run of batman Um, it has its ups and downs i like some of the moments a lot too many issues felt like padded filler when they were doing two a week for a while there especially when they got into the batman dream sequence stuff it was kind of interesting and fun and you maybe could have got away with an issue or two but they did a whole arc of it they lost a lot of reader goodwill Uh, to be honest all of my batman hopes and dreams have transferred over into the batman's grave 
If you haven't watched my review of that, go check it out. I'll maybe I'll post a link to it up there in the corner or something. Um, and uh, so you know, Batman. When are we gonna get a, a new team? We've got a new team coming on Tony Daniels and and I forget the writer. Nothing super exciting on mainstream Batman for a while. Tom King's going to take his own uh, book with Batman and Catwoman. We're going to see where that stuff goes. But overall, man, interest in Batman and DC videos in general is going down on this channel while uh, X-Men and Marvel books have been on the rise. I'm not giving up hope. Batman's grave. Trust me, not many people are into that yet, but that's going to be the one. We've got 12 issues to prove itself as the best Batman book on the stands. Um, Speaking of the best, you guys are the best, man. We recently crossed the 400 subscriber threshold and I got nobody to thank but you folks. So hey, if you haven't subscribed and you made it long in, this long into the video, you, then you must have liked what you saw. So consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the little bell for notifications about new videos and uh, check us out. I try to post a few videos a week when I can. And uh, I want to thank you guys all for your time. And most of all, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.